12 signs of fatty liver. Hey everyone, feeling a little sluggish lately? Like your energy's been stuck in the slow lane? It might not be just a lack of coffee, but what if I told you that they could be subtle indicators of a far larger health problem that's hiding inside of you? Today, we're diving into the not so talked about world of fatty liver disease, hepatic cetosis, a condition that is rapidly spreading throughout the world was uncommon in the 90s, but is now more frequent than you might imagine, and even affects toddlers. More than 100 million people in the USA have some form of liver disease. 4.5 million USA adults have been diagnosed with liver disease, but it is estimated that 80 to 100 million adults in the USA have fatty liver disease, and many do not know they have it. Left untreated, liver disease can lead to liver failure and liver cancer. We'll be uncovering the sneaky signs and symptoms you might be overlooking and helping you understand what it all means. Non-stop fatigue. First, let's talk about a common experience, exhaustion. However, what if your fatigue doesn't go away with rest? If you find yourself exhausted all the time, even after getting a full night's sleep, it may indicate that your liver isn't working as it should. The liver is in charge of producing bile, which aids in the breakdown of fats and their conversion into usable energy. However, when fat builds up in the liver as a result of unhealthy eating habits or excessive alcohol consumption, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can develop. This condition can hinder the liver's ability to produce energy, which can lead to persistent fatigue. So if you're always feeling particularly tired, it might be worth taking your liver's health into consideration. The second symptom on the list is nausea. In cases of fatty liver or hepatic steatosis, nausea can arise for a number of reasons related to impaired liver function. Firstly, the liver's reduced ability to filter toxins can result in an accumulation of these substances in the blood, which can cause nausea. Secondly, excessive liver fat can cause liver inflammation, which can cause abdominal pain or discomfort along with nausea. Lastly, the influence of liver dysfunction on digestion particularly in the production of bile required for the breakdown of fats, can lead to nausea and a feeling of fullness. These symptoms point to an early case of hepatic stosis and indicate that the liver is not functioning as it should. Third, too much gas hepatic steatosis patients frequently have an excessive buildup of gases in their bodies. Radiologists observe that this condition, which can even make it difficult to see the pancreas during exams, can be brought on by liver fat. The extra gas is most likely the result of changes in the intestinal flora, which have a direct impact on liver health. Number four, dark urine. You may not give much thought to the color of your pee, but changes in urine color can be a subtle sign of liver dysfunction. The liver is essential for removing waste products from the bloodstream, such as the yellow pigment known as bilirubin, which is created when red blood cells break down. This darker color is known as bilirubin, ARA, and can indicate liver dysfunction. Therefore, pay attention to the color of your urine. If it becomes consistently darker, it may be an indication that your liver is in distress. This can happen when the liver is unable to process bilirubin effectively due to conditions like non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Number five, abdominal discomfort. While stomach aches are common, persistent pain in the abdomen particularly on the right side where the liver is located, may be a warning sign. Since the liver is located in the upper right quadrant of the abdomen, discomfort may result from any swelling or inflammation in this region. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can result in non-alcoholic hepatitis, an inflammatory condition that can cause the liver to enlarge and press against other organs, causing pain or discomfort. If you have persistent pain in this area, don't ignore it. It may be your body's way of alerting you to a problem with your liver. Number six, jaundice. The buildup of B-rubin, a yellow pigment created by the disintegration of red blood cells, leads to jaundice. Typically, the liver functions as a bilirubin, but if there is a rise in the breakdown of red blood cells or hepatic dysfunction, BAR blockage bilirubin builds up yellow pigmentation in his skin and eyes, which is a crucial indicator of a number of illnesses, Number seven, unexplained weight gain. Let's talk about something. Many of us deal with weight gain. However, what if your food and exercise habits remain the same, but you are still gaining weight? 
This could be a warning indication of fatty liver disease. On the other hand, the liver is essential for controlling metabolism and storing extra energy as fat. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can develop when the liver becomes overloaded with fat due to factors like insulin resistance or high fructose consumption. This can lead to unexplained weight gain, especially around the abdomen, because the liver struggles to metabolize fats effectively. If you're gaining weight without apparent cause, it may be worth looking into your liver health. Number 8 Skin Problems Your skin frequently reflects your general health, so any changes, such as itching or yellowing, could be signs of liver issues. Toxins are removed from the bloodstream by the liver. But when the liver isn't able to do its job correctly because of diseases like non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, these toxins can accumulate in the body and cause a variety of skin problems. Don't ignore persistent itching or unusual changes in your skin tone. They may indicate that your liver needs attention. Jaundice, which is characterized by yellowing of the skin and eyes, is caused when the liver is unable to process bilirubin effectively. Itching, or purus, can also result from the buildup of toxins in the bloodstream, irritating the skin. Number 9. Swelling in the legs and ankles. Dema around the ankles and legs. Although this symptom is frequently linked to other medical conditions, severe fatty liver disease may be indicated by it. Albumin, a protein that the liver produces and which aids in the regulation of fluid balance in the body, may not be produced in sufficient amounts when the liver is compromised by conditions such as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This can result in fluid retention in the lower extremities and cause swelling or edema, especially in the legs and ankles. If you notice persistent swelling in these areas, it is worth consulting with your healthcare provider to rule out liver-related issues. Number 10. Blood Sugar Levels Many people keep a close eye on their blood sugar levels. But did you know that elevated blood sugar can be a sign that your liver isn't working as it should? The liver is essential for controlling blood sugar levels because it stores and releases glucose as needed. But when it becomes overburdened with fat from diseases like non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, it can cause insulin resistance, which makes the body's cells less responsive to insulin. This can lead to elevated blood sugar levels, also known as hypoglycemia, and raise the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Therefore, if your blood sugar levels are consistently high, you should take your liver's health into consideration. Number 11. Loss of Appetite Metabolic changes may cause a person with fatty liver to lose their appetite. Liver inflammation, hormonal imbalance, nausea, abdominal pain, and psychological effects are symptoms linked to impaired liver function that affect appetite regulation and overall well-being. These factors highlight the importance of medical follow-up for appropriate treatment and management of this condition. Number 12. Pale stools. Pale stools in hepatic sosis are caused by the liver's inability to adequately process biosalts, which are necessary for giving stools their distinctive color. This indicates that the liver is having difficulties carrying out its regular tasks. At the end, fatty liver disease means you have a buildup of fat in your liver. One type of this condition is due to drinking alcohol. The other type, which is more common, doesn't have a specific cause, but things like obesity and diabetes can increase your risk of getting it. Fortunately, you can reduce or even reverse liver damage by making lifestyle changes like eating better, getting exercise, and laying off the liquor. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more informative videos.